I'm not here to please your daddy. Like, I respect him because obviously he's an established man. I've told my mom about you. She wants you to come over this weekend. That's when the real relationship starts. Bro, I tell people, Iko, you know, get lied to. <laughs> Iko is one of the worst areas. I'm going to tell you right now on camera. If you see Iko, horrible light because they probably assume everybody has money there and all that. What up, people? It's your favorite man back again with another one. My name is Michael Shonariwo. And I'm Moro Wagonkoya. And this is Manisms, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? How you feeling, my G? Not bad. Not too bad at all. No vex. I know I forgot to button my <laughs> shirt. You see, out with the sugar daddy shorts today. Summer is upon us. It's come on, rainy Ish. season for us. <laughs> exactly. It's hot, child. So I was yeah, like, you know what, guys? Switch up with the shorts and shit, you know. Ah, give it to them. Legs out. You too. Look at you now. Strapless. So I guess we have one we were showing ourselves today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but so I mean, no, I'm blessed, man. It's been a good week. Been a good week. Taking it one day at a time. Um, you know, by now, we would have seen all the destruction that Lagos State has been doing. But I'm not going to blame Lagos State fully because there are two sides to the story. In terms of people have been seeing the demolition that's been going around with the beaches and also certain properties in Lagos State that have been on the canals that they've been yeah, speaking yeah, about yeah. on the mainland. They did the destruction also in Lekki Axis. And when you hear the reasoning for some of these things, like for example, landmark beach area, you hear wise for the coastal highway, but you also hear the stories that have been developed now about, hey, they did actually give notice to the owners for some time. Mm. They did actually say, hey, your contract is going to be up at this point. But some of the people that own the businesses on Landmark thought it will keep going. You sympathize with them, but then there's stories coming out that these things were documented. Then you hear on the mainland too, same thing. Like, there's stories that they did tell the land, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, people that own the, you know when you go bring the, thank you. Okay. The landlords, they told the landlords early, but I feel like they didn't tell the tenants on right. time. But then the government's like, hey, we've told the people that own the property that, hey, we are coming to do this. And you saw the videos on channels, everything. And just, you sympathize with a lot of people right now. There are a lot of people going through a lot of things right now in Lagos. But hopefully, the decisions that the government is making right now actually brings some kind of positive development in Lagos in terms of one, hopefully they've they've put alternatives into place for the people they displaced. Two, in you demolishing that, does that actually make Lagos better? Does it bring some more opportunities for us in Lagos? For example, this coastal highway, is it gonna bring more opportunities in a for the economy when once it's finished? In terms of you removing houses that's on the drainage now, is that gonna now make Lagos less flooded? So these are the questions that we so, have to start asking. So the thing is, to be honest, my take on it is I'll still blame Lagos and the federal government as a whole because the only reason we have these problems are because there were no policies that were being mm. adhered to. In a policy-driven environment, there is no version of that environment where the landlord or anybody else can develop property on a canal line, for starters, right? Because there's, there's, a, there's a planning committee that issues approvals. Mm. for buildings that are meant to go up. So it means that for you to have applied for an approval, it must have run through the committee or it was supposed to run through the committee. Mm -hmm. The committee is meant to go and inspect the property. In fact, they have a master plan of the entire state and country as a whole, right? And so when you tell them where you're trying to develop, you're meant to highlight the building's location, the plot number, and and then they map that onto their master plan. If on the master plan that plot doesn't exist or it exists on the canal line, they disapprove your your property immediately. So it means that for somebody to develop on the canal line, it means somebody they paid somebody to pay somebody, which then tells me that enforcement of that law is not in place. Because if you have people who are going around making sure that periodically all the portions of the state where you know development shouldn't be are, are kept as what they are supposed to be. Because again, this is hands change. Every four years, there's a tenant that comes exactly. in. Exactly. If that's new management comes in and sees that okay we're going to review the master plan again let's just ensure that they are keeping to where they're supposed to. you would have seen that okay this policy is not meant to be here who gave a for this blah blah, blah. 
but nothing ever happens. 10 years, 15 years go down the line, you're already comfortable living in your house. Then one new, you know, um, hmm. one new uh, regimen of, you know, uh, leaders now come and say, no, we want to do it the right want way. Want to do it this way. Oh, yeah, cancel everything. Most times what's what? happened is, what most times what's happened is that that's that bribery or whatever process they've used doesn't now benefit these new people directly anymore. Yeah. And so they say, you know what? Actually, the right way has a way of benefiting me. Let's do the right way instead. Because let's take, for example, the coastal road. The coastal road, out, I can tell you easily, would not take anything less than two decades to complete. And that's me being very, very optimistic. Because we're talking about a, a road that's meant to span from Lagos to Calabar State. Mm. Now, a lot of people have said, oh, why must it start in Lagos? Why not Calabar instead? And of course, they've given reasons why it should start in Lagos. Personally, I believe that there are personal agendas as to why it started in Lagos. So I don't believe any of the things are actually facts. But what I will say is that now, does it develop, you know, uh, the economy as a whole? It's supposed to. The intention is that it should, right? It should encourage interstate business. It should encourage, you know, just things that would have cost you having to go to another state to get. You can easily just bridge that gap. Right. So, yeah, I see how it can just, it can actually easily, you know, um, enhance the economy. But my problem now is, should this have taken priority now? Especially when there are mm. so many other problems in place that the average Nigerian is barely scraping by on. So, I guess that's where I have the sentiment. Should this have taken priority now? One. Two, regarding the whole landmark thing, again, if there was a proper master plan to be adhered to, landmark shouldn't even have developed there in the first place. Mm -hmm. If allocation for land development has not been given in that master plan but again i guess it's something we can it, talk about exactly for and so yeah it's know. just been crazy yeah. but um let's talk about something now too that we said we'll talk about today um i personally have not paid too much attention to it because again i like giving people their privacy mm -hmm. but it's somebody that is one person's a familiar face because they're an influencer the other person just happened to know because they've come to my events I'm uh, kind of in the same social circle yeah yeah so um there was a wedding that was supposed to happen between well actually it did happen actually yeah. i'll let you say the story because yeah, yeah, so, you know it more better than okay. me so well i mean i'm sure everybody knows about the story by now so this is the wafai father and taiwo mm -hmm. Cole marriage thing that went on and um I mean, the summary of it is, you know, he's from the core family of Victoria Island, as they address themselves. <laughs> well, no, I'm just, I love it. They say, we are the core family of Victoria Island. Yeah. Get it? Ah, it's power. So, um, the, so one went out, what, the word was that, or not the word, I mean, all the information that's out on social media, um, was that they had a traditional wedding in Calabar mm -hmm. State, where she's from. Fair. And um, I think after videos of the wedding had gone viral, the family had put out a a um, statement. Statement, letter headed at that, the Cole family, <laughs> you know, letter headed stating that they, you know, um, do not have any. They really pull out all um, association with that wedding and that they have no involvement in it and have no approval to the union of you know Taiwo and Wafai and um, yeah, I mean, of course. There were also like, you know, uh, different pieces of evidence going around, like voice notes, sorry, voice, yeah, voice notes of his dad, Mr. Mr. Cole, and some other person, I think maybe interviewing or just asking questions about the whole ordeal and him, you know, giving out information that he and his wife are estranged. They haven't been together for over 28 years, thereabouts. And that I, I, I give this as context because the wife, which is Taiwo's mom, was at the wedding was at a traditional wedding. So basically, she is for the union, for the marriage, while the dad is like, no, and they are the ones that are going to give approval, whether she's now a part of the core family or not, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, long and short of this, and he is also, Taiwo himself, the groom or husband, mm -hmm. has also now said that, well, he's not listening to any of that. He's chosen to, he's, that's the woman, he's chosen to be his wife and he's moving on with the marriage. The question now comes to the, so of course people are now talking about this whole concept of, you know, marrying to old money and stuff like that. And I could relate a little bit to, because I have had some experiences with, you know, someone who was from a very wealthy family and I mean like two generations of wealth. So it's not like, a, you know, it's her hard work that is making her where she, she's, she's been born into the world. So there's mm. no... She doesn't know anything outside that lifestyle, right? Um, and of course, her parents and then the parents for them and stuff like that. So naturally, it dictates how she navigates life, right? And of course, me not being from that experience, you know, 
there were so many things that were different. But I would say, now, have you ever experienced, or what would you say your experiences have been, if you have, of like dating people who were from wealthy families and they were born into wealth and how it was? Like, would you say there were any downsides? Because everybody always believes, ah, I must marry rich bay, rich bay. But are there any downsides to you, just like what we've seen now in Taiwan's situation? Um, yeah, I've been in it, been a few times. Um, but the only thing I say is like my family has a name too. Not that why well, super wealthy oh, yeah, or course, anything, yeah, but course, yeah. it's like we come from a good family. Like my fa- my grandparents made sure like our family name are established on both sides, both my mom's side and my dad's side. So at least for me, I'm coming with a mentality of I know where I come from with That's these right. relationships. Yeah. Now, with the girls I've seen or dated that come from rich backgrounds, I thought it was a joke at first, you know until um like my 20s because when i came back you wouldn't like as a teenager you don't really think of it or maybe i was just very ignorant to it for a long time because yeah i remember i was coming from america whereby it's just like my name is michael <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you get what i'm saying it's not like what's your family oh name God. all that just, i'm michael and yeah. then later down the line you're fine oh your family is this your family is this fair and girls never questioned me on that. Now, when I got into my twenties, I started talking to some girls that maybe I'll go to their family house one day or something. And you pull up to the crib like the fuck, like ah, uh, mm, mm, mm. wait, and, and you have to no, not don't to, say family house, family mansion, family, family mansion. Uh-huh, and then you yes. know the worst part, you have to now keep composure, like you've seen it before. Like I, it's not like I've not seen it before, but at the same time, I'm still in shock. So I'll be, I don't know, like this is one time. I walked into one girl's house now. As soon as I walked in, bro, I saw a Rolls Royce, a Benz, all this. As soon as I walked in, I was like, this, yeah. <laughs> I, I, and you know, I know, I know, you're not from a poor family. And I'm not, from, that's you're what I'm saying. These things, I'm bro. exposed, but it's just like, you've seen it, like, damn. And it's not like I'm intimidated with the girl now all of a sudden. No, it's just like, damn. I know you got it like that. And there's some, and the thing is, I noticed. I dated girls that came from wealthy, or I talked to girls or dated girls from wealthy backgrounds that like to hide it, or they didn't show it, because they're the girls that show it. And some of them are my niggas. They're my friends. You get what I'm saying? I love them, all that, but it wouldn't work out. Mm-hmm. Then there's some girls I didn't know because the way their personality you say, so, so, so is. Sorry, Would you say it wouldn't work out because of how their personality was? Yes, yeah. the family. It's a personality. Well. It's okay. a personality because there are other girls, like I said, that come from those same yeah, backgrounds yeah. but their personality was fire they're chilled laid back and i would still say maybe on a surface like they were good that i want to date them or be with them you get but maybe i still didn't fully know the real them because again you're still masking a side of yours that is probably not going to come out to later you understand but it, it is something that you have to really be mindful of that you think oh it won't matter that shit matters bro Especially in Nigeria and Lagos, where the first question your parents are asking is, uh, "What's their last name? What family did they come from? What, what school? What, what, did, they what school did they go to?" Yeah. And I'm like, "What the fuck are you?" Ask? I remember like I'll be doing Americano every time. What the fuck are you asking me all that shit for? And then it's like now I understand. Like ah, okay. You know, you know the thing is, so in my perspective, there are two kinds of old money people, and this applies to both like men, women. Just there are two kinds. There's the old money child that they've been born into the old money. All they know is just that soft life. There's, literally, when I say soft life, I don't even mean that they work. They didn't work hard for it. They, mm. they were born into the soft yeah, life. So and that's not, all they know. Nothing wrong, by the way. We're exactly. not talking. Exactly. That's just reality. But just, but just describe, yeah. So they were born into it. That's what they know. That's what they live by. And that applies to all kinds of old money. You're born into it. It's what you live by. Now, the two kinds that I mentioned, there's the one that, because they've been born into it, they, ho- they, they take on the mantle of, I'm an old money child. I only relate with old money children. I, if you can't understand and relate to me as an old money child, sit on one side. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, today I'm tired. Let's go to Barbados. I'm only speaking with those hey, who understand we can go can to I Barbados just quickly today. Say something? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie to you. There's some of those girls that would have been lovely. Like when I see the chemistry day, but I'm sorry, I couldn't. Sugar, exactly. It's we'll, not. We'll, we'll, we'll get, get to, to it. We'll get to, <laughs> we'll get to ah, damn. Yes. <laughs> and so that's one category. You can only sit with us if you're with us. Mm-hmm. Right. And then there's the other side where they somewhat dissociate because they don't like the processes. They don't like that they can't be themselves. It was always right? family, family, it's family, always family, family. That to do. It was, it, 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 family's approval always came first before their wants. And so they just wanted to dissociate from that. They are still part of the rich family, but they would like to do things their own way. And so you find them mingling more with middle class people, sometimes lower class. Like, they didn't put segregation. They didn't like to segregate. 
because to them they didn't like the title of old money or the you see because it, it comes with, it comes with nature it comes with you wanting to connect with people yeah. and so by that wanting to connect with people you find that your level or your status is a, is a block but i feel it's i feel like it's not been sometimes it's not even them it's the people that put that status on them and automatically try and isolate them because of the family position now when you're not getting to know the individual for who they are and that's what i'm saying so those those people you see but, you are, but, you, but for you to feel like people have put the title on you you have to come to the realization that people are putting the title on you no i i think which is still okay we're saying the same yeah, because yeah, like yeah. self-actualization like exactly okay i'll give you an so example they're, they're the ones that ha- it's have like there's some people yeah, now yeah. like i know during sunday last year i used to get so many jokes about when people find out i was saying nikoi now or who my family is yeah oh yeah ikoi money all that i'm like first off niggas y'all don't even know the story yeah not that i'm blessed but it's like there's a story behind it. Like, my grandmother and grandfather work hard like not that old money inherited like there's a business that my parents my mom is still pushing and working hard yeah. every day and me i'm working hard every day to the family don't give me money i wish yeah. Yeah, you yeah, think yeah, i won't yeah. be if if i was if i really had family money do you think i'll be stressing over some of the shit i'm doing right now but perception and that's why i said like there's some kids like i could relate to and then the another side of it is i would say for me is why i say i always stood out is Again, I think it's that America upbringing. Because, like, I tell people, I didn't live the same life in Nigeria that I do in America. And people forget, I stayed there for 18 years. Mm. So, my life is, I'm coming from, not that I had, like, oh, the worst life. I had a great life. My mom made sure I had every great experience. You understand? But, Mm -hmm. again, her reality, our reality then is, my mother is a single mom of three boys. So, then she's working two, three jobs still. I'm, I'm still comfortable, you understand? But I did not... When I now moved to Nigeria, life was hella different. That you're now taking... Like you're like I say, you realize who your family is in Lagos. You realize the access you have. Like, bro, I still remember the first... <laughs> I remember I took some of my boys back in the day when um, President Siba Job was president. We went to his house with my family, right? Because we just we went to his house. Even me. Well, vice president. Bro. Vice president Siba Job. Sorry, we went to his house. And I remember, I'm just looking. And because I know, I know Pre- Vice President Osibajo as who he is, not right. his title. But obviously, by the time he became the VP now, status has changed. And all my friends are like, yo, this is crazy. This is this. I'm just like, yeah, it's prof now. <laughs> yeah. like there's a rea- there's a sense i didn't re- i don't see it from because of the way i've been brought up but then it's like i said as i got older now i started realizing like i said the perception people have, you can never explain your perception to people because yeah. it's always going to be different oh, yeah, yeah. so it's like even you that you stay in ikoi bro i tell people ikoi you know get light too <laughs> ikoi is one of the worst areas i'm gonna tell you right now on camera if you stay in ikoi Horrible lights because they probably assume everybody has money there and all that. That's not the case for everybody. Not that you're broke, but you're working for your money. You understand? Yeah. You still go through the problems. And again, you don't know the story of it. But Yeah, but uh, so I, that's the one side. But actually, I was talking more about the people who are still in the old money. But... They don't associate with it. No, no, no. Let me give an what example. What do you mean they don't? Oh, so... so let me, oh, let me like, give an example. Like the, like, like, I ain't attacking her when I say this or the girls I say it. I'm just saying because I saw it on Twitter and the funny thing is I'm actually a big fan of her so keep doing what you're doing. But you have you seen this thing on Twitter with like the dado black girls and all that? There we go. So... I say so, names. I'm sorry, but so, I didn't so say it in a good way. So, so now, now, right? I don't know much about her. I don't... That's the thing. I've only been... I don't know her. I like... The thing is, I just love... I think her confidence is attractive. No, funny enough, we've been on... So back in the days, back in the day, long time ago, when I used to do this, like, fashion police show. <laughs> long time ago. Fashion? Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, on Ebony Live TV, actually. And oh, um, there was one time we were on the show together as the you know uh, judges so to say so i've, I've met her like i've interacted with her yeah she's cool but now you see i i'm not sure i can use her because i don't know her no story. so the reason i'm i don't let me, i'm not saying her as in her but the girls that i guess she associates with or the genre of music certain girls say where they mm-hmm. say rich daddy so, lagos music okay and so. i always saw i saw it on twitter so i was confused like mm-hmm. what are they talking about until i said like ah you don't know this person's father or this person's mother so again i'm not judging because i don't know her story mm-hmm. i'm just using the example i saw saying oh rich so and so that they okay they so, associate. so i would say so from if i go by what we've seen on social media i would say she's in the category of you can only sit with us if you're with us if I go by what we're looking to talk about social media, I would say that she would most likely only, you know, be in the same... Even if she's working hard, she's working hard with other old money 
Ikoichi, no, but whatever, whatever, VI, whatever, old money children, right? Mm. That's still the first category. So this second category I'm talking about is second category of I'm old money, but you only know I'm old money by the fact that my name is still attached to me. Mm. My day to day is I'm still rolling with regular people. Like I'm not ensuring that I'm only rolling with old money people. Right? I'm still running with regular people and going for regular parties. Like, uh, unless I tell you my surname, you don't know anything about me. You just oh, think, I know. I have a lot. Ah, I mean, exactly. So I have so many exactly. people like so that. Those so are the people I'm talking about. So that, that's the second category. Second category is we're super rich. Unless I tell you come over to my house and you'll be mind blown, you won't notice. Yeah, I can't remember. So you see that was my niggas, I went to one of my dude's houses, right? And you will never guess with this guy. He's the only boy too. You will never guess. Finally went to his house one time because usually it's always my house or his house. As soon as I walked into the compound, see how my head is just up. That's how high the house was, bro. <laughs> I got lost in the house twice. Right, fair That's right. how big the house was, bro. And you just seem to like, yeah, man, I've just lived here. I've been there for a while, shot. The fuck? Like, and, nigga, and like, do you, the most laid back attitude. Do you understand where you say, but I respect that about him too because, like, I guess, not that it doesn't phase him. He do, it's not like he doesn't have a sense of reality of his reality, but it's a house. You are blessed. You are, okay, I stay here. And so what? If anything, sometimes people like that now, they probably are looking for more genuine relationships because That's where I'm coming you from have now, the exactly. people that only associate with those friends. And I've seen it hell at times. Like, I've associated with the rich kids. I know, that's the first thing. I know all of them. We all, some of us went to the same school. See, some of us, our parents are close friends. See, so some of yes, us, but yes, I know yeah. my, di- my thing is I can relate with the rich of the rich and I can relate with the people that are not so... Um, what's the word? So, um, help me out here, bro. Tag so team, what, tag sociable, team. Sociable, so friendly. No, that the rich of the rich and people that are basically oh, like middle class or even know, lower than middle class. Yeah. Because again, from my industry, especially doing events, you have people from both sides come, so you have to be able to relate to both. And even at one point in America, I went to school with people that didn't have money because you're in public school. You're with the rich and the poor. It's not that I came to Nigeria that you have to be in a social setting class to go to certain schools. Naturally. Like if you go yes. to Greens now, more than likely, you know, yeah, your I mean, parents are in a certain... Schools that you just uh, exactly. And it even yeah. stemming to the topic we're talking about, even start from those little things of what school did you go to? What primary school did you go that's to? What, that's what I'm talking about. What secondary about. school did you go to? <laughs> like I remember, I told people, man, see, I could have gone to Green Springs. I could have gone to Grange, all that. It's my mother. Because me, when I came to Nigeria, I was already still Yankee, Yankee, all that shit. My mom said, this boy is not going to any British or American school because he will spoil. Made sure I went to a proper Nigerian school. I went to Seth. But so, now, so now, here's, here's the question I want to ask now. Because, I mean, the background thing makes sense. But you see, I like that we've both, we both have a reality of what old money looks like, you know, when we see it or when we experience it. Now, here's what I really want to know. Because I don't want us to, like, go too much into our own personal background here. So, here's where, I, now, be, and that's, I think that's even the more difficult one. When you buy, so let's not even say that you've acquired wealth from your hard work, no. Let's even say your family too was still really, was still good. Like, you know, how we've come from families that, okay, we didn't suffer. I mean, of yeah, course, no. not that people don't face reality and stuff like that, but that's our own reality. We went to good schools, you, you know, and from our social circles, we kind of even know the same people based on the fact that, you know, this person's lived here, lived there, you, your parents are friends, stuff like that. But then they're still, the, we're still not old money people though. You know what I'm saying? We're not old money people. That is, we're not currently living old money life. Old money life is, let's go to UK. Okay, tomorrow we have a ticket to book. Like, there's old money people yeah, okay. don't think about shit they like don't that. Think right? it's they don't think about shit like that. You know what? It might be this, but I can still do it. So, you know, it's also like, it's like, you know what? Mm, I don't know. UK is boring. I went last week. Let's just, it's, it's their reality. It's not, they're never trying to show off. It's their reality. They're like, you know, I, I went to UK last week and it was kind of boring. The weather's weird. Let's do Paris next week. I'm, I, I want to see, because, yeah, right now, the whole weather thing, I, I look for somewhere that's just more comfortable. That's their reality, right? We don't live old money. We are, if they say, come to UK now, I'm going to think that, hmm, okay, so I can't, Budget. it's too short notice. <laughs> if I, I mean, I can buy <laughs> flights, but then how am I moving around? Exactly. Well, if I, even that buy flight, I'm like, okay, <laughs> if I buy flight now, I won't eat though. Ah, so, 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 you know, so we're not, we're not old money, right? Now, here's where I'm talking about. When you meet someone who is old money, because I've met people who are old money. And when I say met people, I even mean like on a dating P, right? Now, here's the thing. You know, I spoke about two categories of old money. Old money that only has old money and old money that is more rebel. friendly, more rebel. That's the word. So now, when you meet the rebel old money, they have the nicest personalities, chillest people, you vibe. The, and in fact, the connection is insane. 
And you're thinking to yourself that, okay, well, I mean, she's also well to do. Like, you know, of course, her lifestyle, I might not be able to match up to it like that, but she understands. She knows that we're not in the same reality. She's, she's not expecting these things from me just like that. That's good. Then the day is like, oh, I've told, you, I've told my mom about you. She wants you to come over this weekend. That's when the real relationship starts. Because when you meet the family, you think you had pressure with just meeting the daughter. You meet the family. And again, I would talk on my own of my experiences. I had this one girl I was talking to one time. This must have been in my... Uh, actually, this was in my... Yeah, this was sometime maybe like 2018, give or take, roughly. She was some old money. But she didn't come to me as old. But from the surname alone, I'm like... You know, there are some surnames that are very popular. But not everybody with that surname is from old money. Mm. Maybe somebody's brother fell off somebody you know, but that name is old money so meaning that there's also a chance that this person is from old money but i didn't think too much about it you know and so yeah this girl got talking you know very chill babe very everything was sweet you know and um we weren't really talking relationship relationship but i was like i was open to it you know but of course i wanted to like get to know her a little more stuff like that when we started talking of course as things were unfolding i started seeing that <laughs> wait <laughs> It's like this girl is old money, you know. I don't. I, I won't first ask where do you stay. What do you do? No, 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 no. We just talk, and then, you know. Um, I think at the time she was still out of the country. She was planning to come back. I was like, oh, okay. She's like, yeah, she's in UK. She's, like, you know, she's coming back to nine soon. It was very chill, babe. And I think the first thing that gave me indication that she was old money was just indication. I hadn't concluded yet. Was when she came back, she put up a snap. I saw she was driving a Range Rover. I was like, okay, okay, Range Rover, no wala. She had now posted a snap of, oh yeah, just go back. So you know when you post a snap of like your home, you're just parking your car, your mm -hmm. home. <laughs> and I saw that she, it was at, oh, Ocean Parade, Banana Island. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. And then from there, I was like, wait, what's her dad again? She now posted a snap of, oh, look at daddy going out. I was just like, damn. And he was, I think he was coming, I think he was pulling out. This was back in 2018. It was just the newest S-Class then. He was pulling out and I was like, wait, this doesn't look like, you know. And then she now started talking about, oh yeah, she just got back. She's going back to UK again. You know, she, she was going to stay at a hotel, but she just wanted to stay at their family house in UK. Family house in UK. All right, cool. Everything started adding up. That clearly this isn't, you know, this is old mm. money. Old money. Now, the difference, like I said, she was cool people. So I never really felt the pressure like that from her. And then one day, she had a family event. We're talking already. She's like, she's like, oh yeah, come over to this. We're gonna, we have a barbecue. Now, now when I got there, <laughs> I'm not from a poor family. I'm very exposed. I've traveled places. But you see, when I got there, and I started having conversations with, not just even her family, but everybody else, it was it I'm hearing, yeah, you know, when I was in my sophomore MIT, I was in Yale. I was just like, what is going on here? It was a different conversation. It's nice though. I like it. Well, yeah, of course, it's exposing. But when you know, when you when you see that disapproval from their parents towards you, you start to feel it. I, I I don't pay attention to it unless I know I'm really going to wife you. And even if I know, no, no. Like I said, we, we are the people I was liking her we were trying no. to see how a relationship will mm. work out. So when you see, you know, you meet the parents, and the first thing is, oh, okay, so what's, what's his name? Okay, ah, from this family. Okay, I've not, I haven't heard about the family before, but. What, is your, what do your parents do? You're just, you think that it's a seemingly normal conversation. Like, oh, my dad's in my mom's. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. So, how did you meet? Did you meet from school? What uh, school did you go to? Then you mentioned the school. Like, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. So, how come you guys are. Where did you guys happen to. You could just start that. Where did you guys happen to? It's like, there's no way you should have even crossed paths with my daughter. I was just like, Lord in I think heaven. I'm, u I, I, it sounds, I'm used. I've been just used to that situation a lot because. Even from the facial look alone. You yes. see me airing hair. It's like, ah. Right. Then, again, I guess because my family name was more recognized for both sides now, they'll, especially like Yoruba land. Right. They'll just be like, okay. So, there's already that safe net. Right, safe like, okay. okay, okay. But yeah, then, it's right. not looking at you. What do you do? You, uh, yeah. Enter entertainment. Because they're thinking... Uh, Party. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Good. Oh, America. Jesus. See, already <laughs> you look and you're just like damn I, 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 I always used to take I ain't gonna lie I was so fucked up I used to take it as a challenge though like just be like this oh I can't wait to meet your mom I'll be like this like especially your mom is your dad I gotta go do bad guy every time especially all these rich girls your dad go do bad guy every time but your mom if I get her to like me eh, she's the one that influences your dad because your dad's a strong minded man it's not that man and not that mm. it's woman that's going but to don't you also feel like most of the ones you've met are also the we're old money but we can relate to everybody else no nah. 
This song, have you met no, old I've money met, that's like I have a lot. That's like don't bring any. I have a money. lot of them, and that's the thing. They know with me, you don't try that shit because we got. Trust me, we've had our clashes even, and there's sometimes they do certain events I don't do. But there's a common ground we could relate to. You get, and that's why I said I could relate with anybody, like the richest of the rich, middle class, and all. Like, okay, I'll give you an example. There was one girl, and thing is, some of them, none of them, the ones that, the ones that literally say it, like, don't bring these people around me, like. I really want for you. There's only one girl, and that's my nigga. For that, she sometimes like she wants admit it. Like no, I would even say she's like that. That's the thing. She could accept it, but subconsciously she won't really go for anybody that's not in her same well, social exactly. class. Exactly. But what... if she happens to be in a situation that she has to, she knows how to handle herself. But okay. you will not see her being the one to go and walk into it. Same thing. Okay. So you know how you said like there's okay, someone I see that's. What you, I see, okay, I see what you mean. Unless if so, for example, if it's her chilling on her wand, we are traveling to this country, Monaco, the best yeah, places. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if I now and I might, you know, I've been with her to one of a few of those places. But if I now tell her, "Yo, come with me to this shit," you know, I usually don't go to this shit. You are with me. Don't worry now. She will know how to adapt at least to a point that is like, okay, I'm not too awkward. Out, even though it's not her thing. That's what I mean by there's some girls that I've dated, like the rich, rich ones that they won't walk themselves there. But if you bring them, okay. And then there's some too that you bring them that they're just shaking like, ah, what up, yeah. man? Hey, no, no, I mean, <laughs> so I think, but what, what would you say about the, because again, it's still down to the parents. You know, like you said, the child can be rebellious, can still say, but the parents will still be like, where are you taking my daughter to? Like, sorry, excuse me? Uh, no. Have you actually been with families like that, that you just know they hold the family name so close that... You know, I, 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 I say this because the concept of the hypergamy for guys where they say, oh, I won't find one rich babe. You know, like I said, it sounds juicy. It I sounds, tell you, then don't tell. We sneak it. We, sounds, then you have to play the game. Like, I had one girl, like, I knew if I told her dad where we're going. Eh? You just play it off. I'm not going to be stupid but and how tell long, you where. How long are you going to play it off for? I mean, the thing is, it's up because to the girl. The, the thing girl. is, it's up to the girl, though, because I'm not, I've just always had a mentality. I'm not here to please your daddy. Like, I respect him. Because obviously he's an established man, but I'm not about to, I, any girl out there. I've said I cannot change myself for your parents. If you're, if I know I genuinely care about you, I respect you. I know where family I come from. I know who I am. If they can't accept that, no, be by force. Unless you get one, and I won't even say unless because I'm not me. I, I my I can't stress myself. And sometimes I'll have to take my like. There's this one girl I was, and I know back then I wanted like we were. Like, when I say this girl was so cool, bro. So, so cool. But her family was loaded. I didn't know. And maybe I didn't know because of my ignorance. But the lifestyle was showing. But you two, you know. You you know like like yeah. you said, we don't come from poor families. That so you start like shaking. You start family, shaking for yeah. us. So I was like, yeah. okay, fair. But I remember like one time, like, we were now in London at the same time. It's like, oh, come to my house in Marble Arch and all that. You see the name. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and, you see, and you see, the thing is, the thing is, when, like you said, so like how I mentioned about the girl with the Range of, I mean, it's not, those are not the things that were really shaking. When you start saying things like, oh, we have a house in UK, and then, you know, there's, I'm just thinking that I'll quickly dash in. What do you mean quickly dash, dash in? in. <laughs> what do you mean quickly dash in? So, you know, so yeah, so I get you, I get you. Like, I get it's like, oh, I say in Marvel Lodge, it's like, wait, my family house is in Wembley, but even that family house, by the time my mom and I fight, can I, be, can I have the key, I bet, can I just stay? No, don't, mm-mm. So, on the other hand, dashing in and out of Marble Lodge Fair. Remember the first time I went to the apartment. My God, I remember even the when I was going in. That's when I was even younger. That I looked more of a ruffian. Even that right. I remember even the people at the front desk had to stop. Oh, sir, <laughs> sir, um, you're looking for. I'm just like, oh no no no, I'm here to see you know so and so and all that. And an accent was even stronger than right. so there. They were just looking at me. Okay, she now came to get me. Bro, the whole time just looking at this apartment like my. Enter the apart the house self. Oh my god. And you just see her just catch it. Oh no, do this. Oh, we usually have this. Oh, this is this. Ah. Then I remember she now even wanted me to go on a trip with her to um um ah, uh, where was she going in Spain? I forgot the name of it. One place in Spain. Okay. And again, it's not like I can't afford a ticket. But like you said, how am I gonna eat? How are we gonna move around? I can buy like I can buy the tickets, I can buy accommodation, but then I have to think oh of food. God. And the thing is, I'm thinking of it that I can afford the trip based off my budget. You know how if you go on a guy's trip, like at least in the UK, when we used to go on some guys' trips, now budgets because we know we're outside. We know we're outside. This girl is staying at the nicest spots, going Just, to the most like, expensive. Like everyone has the nicest view. I'm not. I don't really care. If it's not name. five star, I don't want it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you want me to be doing that? I say, I'm sorry, there's no... My father ain't sending me money. I'm sorry, this is all mine. 
and I think so that's and that's why I'm surprised that you know because I've been exposed to that kind of lifestyle where they say okay if, if you, you like you tell him to come along with us we're going to <laughs> come along with who they, 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 yeah. they, they usually say oh you know we're going on a trip then he should come we're going to Monaco we're going to Venus he should come with us you know it's a quick if you trip. pay which if you pay they assume that you're all living the life sorry I can't I'm more than I'm more. it's like me telling it's like me I telling I dropped you. my ego early sorry I can't call. hey I got work <laughs> sir I have so, no I have a work project oh my I used to, uh, sir I have a work project after now I said next time uh, sir don't worry next time me and you are going to go on a trip together one time yeah. inside you know equal possible so but now does, doesn't that then tell you that eh I can't how do I marry to this kind so of family so the thing is for me my backup plan I ain't gonna lie to you my insurance policy was my my equity baby like that's fair my enough. insurance policy fair enough jokes um <laughs> <laughs> but I always used to say all these Ikoi girls I said see last last one of you go love me for who I am <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dead I'm so dead so that is like you and, you go, you and her I guess what family. I stay in Ikoi too so me I have my own insurance you want to question where this boy come from eh, I, I know where I come from so I'm good but what I'm just saying is like <laughs> sorry I'm just laughing because <laughs> low key the current one is from Ikoi <laughs> That's why I didn't say anything. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> I think I, ten steps ahead. But, um... <laughs> God Lord, forgive me, me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> But, sorry, what was your question? Yeah, yeah, so, you know, I'm just asking, like, oh, if you... Man. I mean, you have that. They are, they are pulling you. So, you know, one thing about dealing with rich people is that they're not... I mean, obviously, it's not like they're not aware of every other person's financial situation, but... To them, the fact that you're with your reality, your own broke is not their own broke. Exactly, their own broke is. Oh my god, I'm down to my last five hundred pounds or one thousand pounds for this five hundred pounds. Sister, (laughs) wait, you haven't talking five hundred pounds, man? No, no. no, Have you been down to your last? Not even five. Their own broke is not even five hundred. Yo, I remember I told one girl. I remember you. She's my nigga, though. I remember I told. I said, I said, see it. Me and my boys. I remember this time all of us were broke. You could even call your parents because that's when remember when in uni exchange rate started to rise by that third fourth year that like you could even call your parents mind you it was probably even just 500 exchange rate, but it was such yeah. a shock to yeah, them yeah, that you're like you can't even call bro when i say we were down to our last five pounds as per we were looking to the couches one pound coin one pound, put that together one pound <laughs> coin oh yeah we're going to now go to the betting shop now yeah. we'll flip one pound into five pounds now we have ten pounds oh yeah saints race is too expensive this week we're going to audi you because Sainsbury's was a luxury. Oh. If you are if you are broke, you go to Audi. Those same things are Sainsbury's, bro. Less price. This girl couldn't. One day we had to snitch her. She came to our house one time. She just saw we were struggling. They said, "What's wrong with all of you?" I was like, "Yo, we broke. What do you mean broke? We're down to our last. How do you only have five pounds?" And yeah, then she yeah. also it's like, "We're going shopping now." I said, "What do you mean?" This girl took all of us shopping. Went to Sainsbury's. Said get what you want come on like what you can't be living like this i said so, eh. yeah, so, so now so that's the thing right so you would even be lucky to have them as so, you see, no. at that point you've already created a friendship and that's why you, you could even get to that point ah How shit. You seen, i've seen like you see like banter on twitter and they'll tell you that you've been hoping for a rich babe rich babe now rich babe will be asking you please can you quickly transfer me two million i'm supposed to send this to somebody but you see because she believes that that is supposed to be normal like She's like, you know, can you just, just, just quickly send me two million and my mechanic is disturbing Papa, me. I lie. I say, hey, I got this project, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a pride as a man. You will not catch me out sleeping like that. Ah, I'll say I don't have this. Whoa. Don't I have a, kill and me, guess please. what? I have a project, right? Go on my Instagram. You go just see story. Oh, new work. Uh, evidence oh, D. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 no. I remember nah, there's nah, one. Nah. You just remember when I said there's one. Girl, and the thing is, I just told her this, actually. Because, she, like, she's cool. Like, she's, a, she's married and all that now. But we're, like, cool. And I told her, like, this one time, like, we started talking. I didn't know what family background this girl came from, bro. Honestly, like, I'm very oblivious. Like I said, it's you. I'm yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah, to know. We're talking for a while. Eventually, we finally go out one time, and we had the best time, bro. Like, I bought, I paid for everything, all that. Behind the scenes, just like, oh, I must think the adoption. But you know you close eye for a girl. Like, every guy thinks that, by the way. If all girls say, hey, that's broke. Every guy, no matter how much money you have, when you are spending money on a girl, you two, you go say, ah, wait too. But you still do it cool so i remember by the time we do it now i'm up to like i remember this was um covid it was covid time okay so obviously i didn't even have that much money even then bro i spent like my last 100 pounds this girl didn't know okay so when it was time to go home oh let's get an uber together mm. this is, hey bro you see what i'm saying they put you ah. in that reality like because okay. already during the day she was like oh she was this. i'm like i can't say no to this because already me i just like i like her so i already can't say no yeah, but yeah. i don't know the family background yeah, yet. yeah of course yeah so but you just you know she's 
comfortable that you're oh, when she asked for Uber again, yo, I gotta go stop at my friend's house. He lives just down the road on the bus. Oh, my, I took that long bus. Him. Then she not wanted to go out again. God's bus said excuse. Then we went out again. Everything was good then. I think after that, like, Omar, I was skint after that because she wanted to see again. But I remember, like, that's when the protest started, all that. So, luckily, it was a distraction. Now, when I got back, I remember one of my friends now, we were just catching up. I was telling him about the girl. I said the last name. This boy just looked at me. He was like, eh? <laughs> what did you say her name was again? I said the name. Jesus. Do you know how her father is? I was working at her father's company before. Lola. Told me the name. I now do my Google. I said, Jesus. It all makes sense now. Yeah, and it should and be guess what? You know, the day that I took her was fun. Like she had the most fun, but it wasn't what she was used to. Right, like it's not that she can't. It's a normal thing people do, mm-hmm. but I'm sure there's a different way she do, does it. Yeah, right, I showed right, her a right. nice different way to shoot. Right, right. And the thing is, <laughs> honestly, I'm actually I'm remembering so many things, and it's crazy because when they draw you into that life, and it, again, it's a life you're familiar with, right? Familiar with because you've been around people who do that. You, I mean, you've you've even experienced that once or twice yourself. Like it's. It's something you're it's like familiar the way with. Some Ikoi girls now, they only go to Mako only, or uh, it's not like we it's can't enter Mako right now if we don't want to. Exactly. But, but we know that we it's don't not really go every week because there's, there's nothing for us. What are we really going for every week? Or you get there now and you realize that that's where she'd just rather have tea there. It's a good Like, see, the, the life is really different, right? But the truth is, you can you <laughs> you either have to like be ambitious and say that, okay, I must really marry this Ikoi baby and chest all the whatever comes to you. Because the truth is, see, oh, it's a, you would definitely you would question your manhood at certain points because if she's also <coughs> hanging out there's nothing worse than it's a friend hangout and she's like oh yeah i have my friend michael coming now you know you like a big guy's not really on that yes you're just like you're talking and then she's like okay you know what come to miko that we have a thing and she's there with all our other rich friends both guys girls mm-hmm. and now they're having that table conversation oh i, I do I, you know, I, like, I, i've been in that you know like you know like oh yeah do you remember that time at um when we went to Book Venus, and, we, and, you know, and he's like, you know what? You, you know, actually, remember that day? I had to take that flight that very day. You know what? I took a quick flight to this, and I came back the next, next morning day. because bye, bye. we had you to two, make that see, wedding. Have you not traveled before? But no. Have, uh, and so, and, <laughs> and at that point, I'm like, okay, this place is not familiar to me. I've been there. I've been to these places. Then you know, start hearing things like, and you know, the funny thing is that as soon as I got there, my mom had already taken the Rolls Royce. So I said, okay, you know what? Uh, I called my brother, look, bro, um, only the Porsche is available and I can't drive the Porsche because I need to carry three people in the car. And I just, in my mind, I know what to say, but I'm just thinking in my head, like, how many more of these conversations are we going to be having? Because I can only lie so much. I cannot, and you can only do, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Exactly. Ha, ha. The worst part is if they're like, trying to be like, oh, so where have you, like, where, you know, where, where did you, where did you score? Oh, I make, oh, I, you make it sound fun. Bro, that is where I, I'm, I've never confessed this, Jesus Christ. This is where I actually <laughs> learned how to do storytelling. You see, storytelling is, I'm not lying. I'm actually telling you my life. Yeah, but yeah, not yeah. to make it sweet. That is not, because I won't, there was a point I used to be around a lot of the rich kids. And it's not a problem. It's just I happen to be around them because of family and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, my life ain't like this. You might think it is because of my family. My, my cousin. So I got like, people yeah. around me. Yeah. But then I'm like, but it's not like, and then I guess I had to just say, but my, it's not like, it's the same way for you. Not like my life is not interesting. I got just twisted a little bit. Because you know the funny thing, some of those guys now look at the other, like people like us now, see our lives and they're like, oh, your life is so fun. Fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I agree with you. Oh, I, I wish I had this kind of freedom that they allowed me to do this. And that's when I realized, oh, Okay, same thing. Fine. Yes, you have to swallow your pride or t- those times that they start saying, oh, I took the rose right today. Oh, I remember like one girl said, I remember when Copy and her dad like picked us up where did this? I said, oh, well. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> God. I said, ah. Oh, don't ah. fucking kill me, please. Oh, but me, I had to remix my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uncle's escort, you know, pick me up. But and, and you know the thing is, like you said, it starts from high school. I'm not even, let's bro, can I tell you a story? A I've never told you really, because bro, that high school P. When I stayed, so mm. I've lived in we lived in Ikoisis, but before I used to live in Adeni Jones with my grandma. Like okay. when I came back, then I'll go stay with my mom in Ikoi. Like okay. when I get back. So every time I used to want to go clubbing, that, there was no Uber and all that in secondary school. Remember? Oh yeah, of course. So it was so your my pe- mom. So, so when, that car that's coming to pick you is bro, the first sign, bro. Don't oh, do that. Man. Remember, oh, my mom used to always say, oh, mom, if you want to start going out with your friends or your cousins, find your way there, find your way back." Because there's only one car in the house at that time. I don't have a car, nothing. Right, of course. So if my cousins came to, this is how I used to match up with everybody. See, Lagos is all about packaging. You see, all you people that are new to Lagos these last three years, we don't do um. <laughs> Bro, secondary school, once my cousins pick me up, I already know escorts, everything. You go, you carry yourself what everybody thinks. Oh my god, man, you have that. Yeah, what? That's my older brother's and shit. 
all the security men are my guys. That's oh, the, all the security right, men are like, right. they're my. If I call them for anything, right. they'll come. You get it, but they're not mine. Right. But I was packaging that way. Yeah. Now, if I didn't have them, bro, this is how me and my cousin. Shout out my nigga Victor, man. You know what it is. See, we had to walk from my house in Parkview. That's on the other side. Walk to the gates. Now take those yellow taxis right. that are there. If there's no yellow taxi, we have to now take Okada to follow more. <laughs> we'll follow follow more. Yeah, we'll now take a, a taxi. Yeah. Now, when the party... There used to be this club near a co-hotel, cool like right across the street. I forgot the name, Sharp. Okay. Wait, what, what year was this? Like This is Tribeca? secondary school. Now, two, I think Tribeca, Tribeca, Tribeca or another one. 2009, 10. Yeah, uh, that, those times, right? Definitely Tribeca. So every time the taxi... Across would the road, the co-hotel? Yeah. yeah. Tribeca, my so bro. when they, everybody used to go to those clubs, before it gets on the main road, you know, like it'll go that avenue... The alleyway yeah, side. Small, yeah. Taxi will park there, let us out. We'll now, now walk. walk. You know, when everybody, like, you know oh, when no everybody, you know when everybody's been standing way. outside trying to get in. Now see everybody, hey, hey, what you park? Come on, they drop the car over there. They drop the car over there. Then you're not walking like. But the thing is, because you have your social street cred, you're not walking like a boss. Not yeah, and then now the yeah, best part yeah, is, yeah. we we'll always time it. So us, we've taken Okada there. Once we're now in the club, now text my other brothers. Where you guys at? I'm on with Dave. We're just about to go out. Oh, can you pick us up? Yes, of course, we'll be outside. You're not see Oh my God, Maya, where you guys going? Don't worry, baby. We'll see you outside. I will see you outside. Packaging. Now, are, are you, and can you listen to how much packaging it takes? Hey, bro. So, kind of ma- now, now imagine someone on on a, on a lower lower class that thinks the ambition is on my most fine rich kid. The truth is, we've we've been able to survive some of those situations because you kind of understand you can relate to so many things, right? Now imagine someone who's never traveled out of the country, hmm. who's never you know doesn't even know the names of some of these things. And so, okay, it's like it's like it's like you've been in a rich family and they tell you, oh, can you please help us get the ace in the fridge? Meanwhile, you don't even know what ace is. You ah, never really okay. well, I was about to sort of embarrass my family and said <laughs> ace. I said sorry. Ah. <laughs> so or, or, or they tell you, you know what, we've got a we've got a we've got a nineteen forty two in the fridge. Mm. See, some things that you just know by virtue of the fact that you should you should be old money or you should be, you know, aware of these things, they say them in a way that the language should be familiar to you. So you don't know what the ninety four the minute you're asking, sorry, what was it? Ah, and the girl just look at you with shame. Like, she, see, when you ask a stupid, and, when and you ask a stupid question around a rich girl, eh, the look she the, gives you, yep. you feel it. And so it's at that point that the parents just be like, yeah, don't, don't bring that, don't bring that young man around. A, this house see, again. but the thing is, boys are packaging now in different way because you see, back then, 2010, internet wasn't now. Yeah, Google, now you can g- you get yeah, the 1942? Yeah, yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Oh my god, then you're not even like, sorry, is it the is it the this or the oh, this? Uh, bastard, you never seen nineteen forty two in your life, you did <laughs> So but you know personally I think I mean because we've definitely spent so much time with this has been a fun episode, but my summary on this whole take is you could definitely marry to a rich family if you think you can handle the pressure. Right? Because the truth about that exposure thing is you grow into it, it's an experience. Once you're exposed to certain things, you get to learn, 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 learn. And before you know it, you start, you start talking their language. You know, but it's a consistent thing. Like, it's something you have to... Okay, let me give an example. Like, eating out in Lagos, right? Eating out in Lagos... There's so many people that I see now that they eat out in fancy restaurants. And I, I, I can kind of tell that it's not because this is what you're used to. It's because you kind of want to... You, you, you want this... And it's not, it's not shade. It's a strategy to life, right? You want this to be your new normal so that you can kind of push yourself into a new social circle. Yeah. And it's nothing wrong... Nothing hey, wrong with it. Life is about... Posi- like, I Again, won't lie to you. Nothing it's wrong with girls it. girls I've dated that... I won't lie to you. Like, I sometimes... And that's why I said I humble myself. Like, me, I don't mind dating rich girls because I want to be exposed to that yeah, shit. Because I true, know... True. Like, for example, food. I'm not a big foodie guy. Give me my chicken, my meat, my rice, American foods and shit like that. You yeah, get what yeah. I'm saying? All this fancy, fancy shit. It's not like I've not been there. I've been to so many, but I hate it. But then when I'm with certain girls, now they're like, okay, no, let's try to ex- be exposed to the. <laughs> oh, yeah. In my head, I'm just like, shit, just in case, because I don't know who I'm going to meet. Like, I remember, yeah. I remember there's one time, like, one girl was, um, I remember, I thank God for my grandmother so much, because she exposed me to so much. I remember, like, I went to Fuego the Child early. Like as a kid, okay. So I remember, like my early twenties, I remember this one rich girl talking about, like her dad was about, oh, we want to go to this restaurant. I was like, Young man, do you know if I got the child and all that? <laughs> oh, um, uh, <laughs> and thank God, that, um, uh, that flash. I've not been since I was a, like kid or something. It came back on my explaining to him. Yeah, the one with all the meats, right? That you flip a card, right? That you just switch like this. Mm. I was like, oh, okay, you know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I never go since, so, but. <laughs> And you know, and, and the thing is, and the thing is, with that, with that, because I call it, an, what do you say, it's an upgrade, it's an upgrade, right? So it's an upgrade of your social life. And, you know, when I watch these people do these things, I'm just like, if you have the brass, for, if you have the ambition, like I'll keep saying, for, 
wanting to level up to that point take it but there are some people that don't have that heart of steel like the truth is when you're trying to break into that old money section bro it's a lot but i have no shame because have they no shame the truth is, they hold their family name so close but the thing is if you are i this advice i'll give men out there because it's different for women like a woman can marry into a rich family Mm. not as it's mm. not that it's no what i mean in is, fact this woman was no but what i'm saying is this. look out in the end her husband is saying i'm still going to marry him and guess what in the next year it can change mm. but if it's the opposite that the girl's saying i want to marry him if that father says you're not marrying what do you want to do yeah. but that's what i think the advice i'm going to give to men is always have a name build a name for yourself no matter what field it's in it's like i used to i remember at one point i was feeling subconscious about doing events and parties right mind you i know where i come from and I'll see how some parents, like some girls' parents, will look at me when I say I'll do parties. And I had to sit down and look back and say, wait. Like, I remember even on Sunday, I remember like there was one time with Sunday last year, I had to look back. I say, wait, I'm having some of the rich kids. All of them are coming to my shit, paying me for my shit. So why then are they looking at Why am I in back now? I have, do you understand the caliber of people I'm at? Well, I'll tell your father, this is what I do, sir. All the millennials and Gen Z come to my shit. But that, and as I say, you have to have that self pride in whatever you're doing. Same thing for you now in your field. You can easily tell somebody, um, sir, I'm the one that actually all the iFitness gyms is me. Eh? Yeah. And, but you package it yeah, in yeah, a way that, that yeah, yeah, you are, yeah. and Agreed. that's why if Agreed. every that's the advice. Like if you can package what you're doing in your own way and have confidence in it, trust me, that man is still a man. There's a way you go say. So that's that's what I was gonna touch on. You see, no matter how born into wealth the person's dad could be, right? He's still a man to the core point of he understands what it takes for hard work to get you to where you're going to. Mm. So once once they see that you've done, like you said, you've made a name for yourself in a way that it's not a you're actually working hard. In fact, most times they'll be like, okay, I like this. But guy's not that. Guy. But like, you also at the same time you guys package yourself and clean up. Oh, oh yeah. Not yeah, that course. you are having money and you're still living street life or you're still oh, yeah, just so being you're responsible. Doing, or you're not even acting exposed. Yeah, because that's go, a, you yeah. have to yeah. you see what i said yeah. i had the girls educate me whereby it's like okay i can't go and approach certain dads this way even though i'm comfortable in myself quote unquote i have to level package up a little bit okay this is what i should do next oh, or, okay or this or it's is like, it's like okay you kind of stumble the money and you feel like that's exposure <laughs> then you get to the family house or family party and they say oh can you please help us with the champagne open up and you start doing this shh, shh, pop shot because I just remember that's when you said not acting exposed. I have because you can be exposed and then that's the performance you now decide I remember, to portray. You know, you know when that you get thing. There. You know that thing where they say like with men, especially where it's like when you have a bottle of alcohol, champagne, you give it to the oldest person to, to tap. Yes, yeah, to tap. I didn't know that shit, but I'm right, the one right. day I brought Well, I think that one is more cultural than anything. Oh, it's else. cultural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't no, think they, it I saw it amongst my rich uncle, so right. that's why I was, I was like, when they first did it, they said you won't give it to uncle. I said for what? They said ha. Huh. The like, no, yeah. no, this is what you do. I'm like, oh, yeah, shit, yeah I think okay, it's, I okay. think it's more culture. But you know, again, there's still so there are certain things that, like I said, it's over time you have to keep being exposed to it before you. But there are some people that don't let that exposure pass to them, and that's you had a point because if you don't show that you're exposed in a way that you package your exposure properly, and you just feel like, yeah, okay, I've seen, I've seen uh, Azul before. And then now there's a way you are pointing there so that they just know who is this ah, who is this uncultured bruh, swine bruh. You know, stuff like that. And so yeah, I think, so or, I think or even it. like or even like knowing how to hold a cup of wine or champagne or even which glasses are for which those are the little things that always like you know let people go and say okay you know what lies babe that talks about be, this man now nah, babe so, I'll, I'll admit it is babe that so yeah. correct me. So yeah, and, and the truth is you were willing to get that exposure. Some other guys say, yeah, I if I want, I can drink the wine inside the normal glass. Bro, there's whiskey glass, there's this. So all those little things always, you know, when you get to the point where they are teasing you for that, you will feel it, you'll be like, you hey, feel it, because you know, hey. it's not even like your typical boys insulting you. When exactly. rich, when rich people, you go feel like, ah, you popper. Like or, you, or, that's how you're feeling or, inside. Or they even tell you, you're pouring wine in a whiskey glass. That somebody teach might, this you know, man how to, and the way they'll say it, it's like yeah. Oh. They, say, they say somebody teach this man how to pour a glass of whiskey, please. Where'd you where would you find him? <laughs> ah, where would you find him? You know, okay, see, personally, I'll say date your level, but there's nothing wrong with upgrading and you know. Marrying, no, if you are going to upgrade, if you are going to upgrade, also just learn the rules about upgrading. Like package yourself and be ready to adapt. Yeah, I mean, and and um, there's nothing wrong with marrying into a rich family and whatnot. But also, I would say personal advice is you know do some research on the family as well because as much as you feel like the person you're getting married to or falling in love with has your back and stuff like that. You don't know how that family structure works. Hey, you don't know the stress. The minute they say it. that, you know, if, if all of his funding or finances is tied to his reality, they want to cut him off. I'm sorry, but that soft life you think you're hoping for is gone. 
you know, and now you're back to, you, you just married someone that's just like you, right? So, or maybe even worse off, you're the one that is now ah! saying, let me put food on the table for you. you know, say, so, you're the breadwinner. Exactly. So you have to like look really closely at the family, family you're marrying because even aside from that, you know, because they don't approve of you, they, don't, they sometimes go several lengths to make sure you guys are not together. You know, they will make sure that, look, um, anywhere you find, make sure they are separated, make sure that, because they have more power. And so they may make life, your personal life difficult for you. It could be your workplace. They know your boss. And they say, yeah, this person is messing with my child. I've asked him to live. And then they give your boss rules on how to engage your workplace. It could even be other places that are, you know, they, they'll find ways to make sure that you're, you're, you feel so threatened. That you I'll want never to pull out. The, I'll never do the girl that. But don't, that's, but don't that's the thing. My, I don't but, know your daddy like that. But that's the thing. Like I said, do research on the family. Because you're looking at the girl like she's sweet, she's nice, she's this. Uh, that might be a house that just ended up, you know, getting some good money. But to her, she's in old money. You know I've met those ones. So yeah. one nigga chased me out of his house. But that's another story for <laughs> so, Exactly. So so I'll say that, you know, if you're going to marry into a family that is old money, just make sure you do research on the family and find out who you're really dealing with and what kind of family you're really getting into. Because don't forget that. We're, even making, the child, sound, we're making it the, sound like it. I, I think... Again, there's a. I guess as I got seen older, I said there's a spiritual aspect in, in terms of if you know, if you're seeing the signs that it's already stressful, one, put God into it. But I feel like if she's the right one, even if she's from a rich family, the, the family will make it a bit soft. Oh, yeah, no, not sure. Like, well, you know, we're talking about it based on the example we gave of mm-hmm. Warfare and Taiwan, in which case, obviously, their time together hasn't really been solved from how mm-hmm. we've seen how yeah, the marriage is, right? Side. You know, so. It means that I mean I don't know maybe she didn't do more research on the family or she just knows that or they could have not shown they could have not shown their up. true colors. A lot of families show their surface level until when it's time for that until they, thing. When it, then yeah, you start seeing ah 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 ah. I agree. And yeah. that's why sometimes I say when you're dating, I rather my parents meet hella all this. We're waiting till we're engaged to the parents meet. Hell no. Yeah. Let them meet let's early. Let's, let's know what we're exactly. dealing with. Can we move forward? Because I'm not wasting all my years now to later on now say, oh, now there's it's issue. Really, yeah, ah, no, because no, no. because really, she's also done well for herself. She's successful. You know, she's she's done so well for herself. So outside of it, she doesn't but, need him. But there's him. a lot. But it's like I see. But oh, also she, there's a caveat. She, she could. Pregnant. She is successful. Right. I don't know her family. I'm not. I'm saying is her family as successful as no, no, her? She's not, she's not from a rich family. So from, I mean, just from what I've seen on. So that's where they probably are also like looking. That's family. where they're probably also looking at too, like mm, upbringing. And not she the got same. rich from influencing like social media and stuff like that. So she's like a. She's God yeah. forgive me. The Yoruba. See, even me, I'm an influencer. But you see, the Yoruba boy just say ah. Influencer, okay. This is fucked. This is fucked. This is fucked. This. Bro, you yeah. would technically classify me as one, but. I was You're just thinking of the parents' yeah. mindset. Just and say, that's what I, I, the parents I, I want, want, I want influencer. What yeah, do you mean? Go. Social media. Ha. Ah. <laughs> you know, so, so yeah, I, I guess I guess it's because they feel like they can't pass on the mantle of their old money to something so fleeting that it's not a structure. They feel like, okay, it must be something because, okay, who am I supposed to give my big company to? Who am I supposed to? So, I guess that's what they think about. But again, like I said, be, be careful. Like, do your research on whatever, whatever family you're getting involved in, especially if you're trying to go the long haul. And yeah. so, that way you're not, you know, getting yourself in a mess you can't come out of because you think you want to marry into a rich household. So, yeah. All right. Well, guys, let's hear your opinions and thoughts on it. What you think about marrying into a rich family? Or if, there, if there are any rich baddies out there that want to comment, anonymously please we want to hear from you want to hear what life is like dating with you like just from your perspective really because it's so easy to talk from the outside as in the guys that date the girls but the girls themselves we want to hear from you so please comment please subscribe to our youtube all our audio platforms and we will see you guys next time on menisms i'm michael scenario and i'm more welcome queer